Well, we just came up this road. It's a pretty nice view. And there's a marker right there. Go take a look at this. You can see way out in the distance the salt flats. The Central Overland Trail Dugway Pass. Visitors, please register. Uh, let's go over there. There's an old telephone. Check that out. So this phone does work. Okay, so it says, Welcome to Fifth Springs National Wildlife Refuge. I don't know if this camera is going to be able to pick up those fish in this river. Oh, it has a snake. A snake? Yeah. A water snake? It's got it in his mouth. He's running away. It's a fox. I think. More, it's not a coyote. It's a fox. <whistles> that was pretty cool. He was just sit, standing there staring at us. Looks like he has a snake in his mouth. Well, we went 140 miles, and uh, we're leaving this uh, Fish Springs, and uh, Wendover is still 104 miles away. That's our final destination for today. So I uh, seen something up here off the side of the road. There's a sign up there. I don't know if this is an old cave or what this is up here. They do have it barred off, but I'm gonna climb up there and just see what it says. Yeah, I know, I know. So there's some type of cave up here and there's bars on it. So uh, I don't think this was a mine, but uh, I don't know for sure what it is. And I gotta watch for snakes. That's where I, why I brought my walking stick.
Wow, that pooped me out. So, I can't make out anything on this sign of what it says this was. Uh, okay, so uh, this has something to do with maybe uh, Native American remains or the cultural items. down into a cave system there though, or what? That's too bad this uh, sign faded long ago. You can't read nothing on it. It's hard to imagine that uh, people possibly lived in that cave, or from what it sounds like, they did live in that cave, some Native Americans. And they probably, you know, uh, fished and uh, got animals and birds from uh, fish springs and getting that in their water supply. Uh, this is a pretty desolate area. All right, so uh, me and my dad still out here in the desert, and I was just looking off the side of the road, and I could see that there's some mines here. I think they also people come out here and do target practicing with their guns, but you can see someone's built a wall here. There's a cement foundation there. So this is an abandoned mine and I don't want to go down it. You know, it says private property, no trespassing, abandoned mine, stay out. Uh, someone's ripped the uh, chicken wire they had there blocking the entrance but uh, like I said I'm not going to go down it but just to show you how desolate this area is take a look at this oh, there's a burned out automobile a shot up automobile And it looks like if I uh, keep going up, and up that road, which I'm not going to, uh, there's some more mines up there. There's another mine tunnel over here. I might go take a look at that. Okay, so here is uh, another mine tunnel. Or maybe this isn't a mine tunnel. Maybe this was their explosive storage area. Okay, you gotta be careful for snakes. Wow. See rat poop all around here. So it's pretty cool in here. A nice little shelter, if need be, if you're stuck out here in the desert. So Cactus Jack, a stray dog. 
Ah, 